Good morning. I'm coming to you at 5.30 in the morning from my home gym. I just got the notification on my Apple Watch. Let me see what it says. Keep it going today. You closed all three rings yesterday. Get three more today. Isn't it anyone else's dream that someday it just tells you, wow, you've been doing a great job. You should just take today off. Now it's not going to do that. I'm sitting in my basement. That is where I have the home gym. I have been working out in a basement since my parents' home in Republic, Ohio. For over 20 years, I have been dedicated to fitness. No matter the stage of life I'm in, the job I'm in, having kids, I've found a way to make fitness work for me. Which is why I'm shooting this here, sans makeup and pre-workout, because I wanted to share a different thought about connection this week for this installment of 52 Weeks of Meaningful Connection. In week 25, I talk about viewing exercise, viewing connection like exercise. So many of us will do so many things to bend over backwards and fit this into our day, but how are we thinking about that in terms of mental health? Let me put it to you this way. Living with air pollution could increase your odds of dying early by 5%. Obesity, 20%. Excessive drinking, 30%. Living with loneliness can increase your odds of dying early by 45%. Wow, 45%. Think about that for a minute. Isolation, not making time for other people, not having any meaningful connections is actually a higher health risk than being obese. So perhaps I should be inviting others to join me here in this basement while I'm doing my morning workouts. But what this does is it puts the importance of having those meaningful connections front and center in your life. So the challenge I posed in this week's article was if you're someone who already exercises a lot, how can you blend in a feeling of connection to those workouts? And if you're someone who doesn't work out a lot, how can you think about adding that element to your life while also adding an element of connecting with others. There's lots of creative ways you can think about doing this. I'd love to hear some of your ideas. I've got to go hop on the treadmill and you've probably got to get along with your day. So go think about that this week. How can you view connecting like exercise or those other things that you will always make time for in your day? Have a great week and I'll be back with you next week. Thanks.